You too. What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? Today been a pretty good day. I can't complain. I ended up ended up getting up a little bit later than I want. Well, I ended up getting up and leaving a little bit later than I was intending to, but I took some Benadryl last night to kind of help with um, my allergic reaction. So when I woke up at the time that I was intending on leaving, I was still a little drowsy and it was still dark. So I said, I'll just wait until um, the sun come up. I'll just wait another hour or so. So got up, left, did my load check, make sure my chains were uh, still tight. I had one that <clears throat> got a little loose, but the um, the rest of them are still tight. That's one of the things I like about ratchet binders over snap binders, at least in my experience. You know, my experience. Um, I feel like I'm a, I'm a little bit stronger. So by the time, really, when I ratchet ratchet it down, and I do my load checks after getting loaded, they, they're still pretty much tight the entire trip, so um, I like that. But anyway, I got on down there and got to the place. Um, I don't know what's, me and this GPS over here, man, I don't, I don't know. I had already Google Earth the place and it wanted me to get off on an exit that was two exits away. And I looked at it in my phone and I matched it up with the Google Earth and I'm like, mm, my phone's really gonna take me where I need to go. So, cause it was just right off the interstate so I didn't have to worry about going through towns and stuff like that, going, you know, any of that stuff like that. So what ended up happening was I just, uh, I got off the exit and I'm still looking at the GPS. You know, I'm just looking at it to see like, okay, it should register now. It's saying I'm still four miles away when all I gotta do is make a right turn and I'm right there at the place. And then when I get to the place, it's still telling me to turn around. So I'm like, and I'm just like, I, you know, I don't know, man. I don't know. So, I'm, you know, just for the benefit of me and for the benefit of this, I'm just I'm just making sure that I'm not, you know, I'm not going anywhere. Which, <clears throat> it was a slip up last week when I ended up going to, to Tennessee. But as far as going to any places like that where... I feel like it's gonna be an issue like that. Like, nah, I'm, I'm, I'm declining it. Like, nah, I just, I can't do it. And I'm not, I'm not getting another GPS. Like I said, I had a, I had an experience with it that, I just, I just tough it out with this and, and the phone. Like, mm -mm, mm, look at my atlas. But as I was anticipating. Um, I got a, I got another load that basically what I would have in my pocket, well, what I would have, what, well, I'm talking too fast. Basically, the load I dropped out today and the load that I have now that I'm not going to be able to drop it out tomorrow because it's just, uh, it's too far and the route that I'm going to have to go to get there. It's not a straight interstate route, so I know that it's gonna take some time to get down there. So I know I'm gonna have it out first thing um, Thursday. But the way I look at it, the load that was going down to San Antonio or whatever like that, once I drop this off, I'll be at, I'll basically be at the same at the same point. But I'd rather be around the Houston area versus in the San Antonio area for reloading anyway. So I think I think I I think I guessed right. You know, I think I I think I I, I gambled right. Um 
I know I was talking to my buddy, he was saying like maybe it was some flooding or something going on in Houston you know, or whatnot. Like I said, I know I'm going to, I'm, this loan I got now is going down to Conroe. So <clears throat> I was going to keep driving to, uh, I was going to keep driving to West Memphis, but um, I've never, I've, I've only stayed, as far as a truck stop, I've only stayed in West Memphis one time and that was at the Flying J. Any other time I stayed in West Memphis, I always went over to the Southland Gaming Casino. I used to always stop over there at night, um, go get something to eat. I don't know if they're back open. <clears throat> I know the restaurant that I used to stop at and eat in there, like, it, the food was, like, amazing. But um, but I said, I don't feel like going over there. Because I know my buddy, he's, like, the king of, like, I'm going to go in here and I'm going to make a spot. You know, I'm going to make a spot. And I'll make a spot, you know, at the mom and pop joint, but I've I've just never had any luck with just making a spot at like a truck stop. I remember one time in particular, um, it was my first time in uh, was I in Kansas City? I think I was. I was in Kansas City. It was a pilot, right? And obviously, this was like probably my first, maybe going to my second year at TMC. And the reviews was like, man, you don't want to park here. Like, not because it was bad, but just because of how, how tight it was, right? And so I went in, the, you know, I go in the truck stop and everybody like, yeah, man, I'm just here to get a shower and I'm going to ride, you know, I'm going to drive over to the casino. Now, me, you know, still being a novice, not the explored trucker I am now, I'm hearing the word casino. I'm like, uh, that's not on trucker pass, so I, I don't know. So anyway, I stay there. And I mean, literally, we're not even in a parking spot. Like, we literally are parked like four or five of us trucks right next to the waste, like, right next to the cat scale and again me being not tenured i'm just like all right cool you know ain't nobody gonna come knock on the door so i'm just gonna stay here tonight i wake up and i'm like i can't leave i'm trapped because like three trucks that came and parked behind us and it wasn't enough room like for me to like pull and go because it was a truck right beside me. But just so happened one of the trucks, the truck that was like immediately behind me, he backed up and he left and I was able to back up and I was able to lead too. So I was like, uh so as far as making spots at the big truck stops, I I, no, I don't I don't I don't uh I don't entertain that. If I can't get in a spot you know, or if I don't feel like backing up, you know, I'll go to a rest area or, like I said, I go to the mom and pop, you know, where you can find a a, a spot, right? But um, I'm probably going to run back off in this truck stop and get me something to eat, um, take my medicine, take finish taking my a little prescription for my allergic reaction, and... I'd rather get up early in the morning, but I'd rather get up early. That way, when I get down there, because <clears throat> I figure I figure I know where I'm gonna park it. Because when I had the issue with the truck, the place that I stayed at, it didn't get too too packed over there. So I said, well, I can go over there and go across the street and get some of that good barbecue that I had from over there. <laughs> At the barbecue, we probably just the wings or whatever, and uh, and just make the little rest of the little trip on down there, down to Conroe, and probably ain't gonna <clears throat> get too much to pay too good coming out of Texas, but if it can get me back, obviously get me back to Mississippi, that'd be good. I just pick up some, and then like over here, I want you to do, uh, <clears throat> which is good to me, you know. Some people may say it's um, 
a bothersome, but they want you to you you always you gotta do an annual uh, truck inspection. But they want they want four truck inspections. So every quarter um, you get a truck inspection. So they pay for three, and you pay for obviously one. So I get a truck inspection by Friday. So more than likely, I probably try to get it done Friday, and. Uh, yeah, I'll probably try to get it done Friday. If if not, um, get it done tomorrow. But the place that I'm planning on stopping at, they, you know, it's not a a place that does that. So I'll probably just get it done Friday whenever I get back over to Mississippi or whatever like that. But um, yeah, that's about it. So like I said, I'm about to run off in the truck stop and give me something to eat. So y'all be safe out there, man. Drive for yourself and others.